Welcome back everyone to another set of Baron the Banyan. I'm Baron the Banyan. Today we're playing Borderlands because, well, it, uh, yeah, we'll go as the hunter because why not? <laughs> Probably the most used character in the game and one of the most overpowered. But, uh, yeah, I uh, didn't, didn't get many votes in the stream voting, but it was, uh, the, you know, it was the next, next best, so I may as well do a bit of a video on it. Why not? So, uh, yeah, here we are. At our fire stain, this is the uh, uh, what's called as angel. What I'm about to show you, once I flip and get into the game, and I'm able to like run around and crap, is pretty much how to level up incredibly fast in the first like 20 minutes or so, probably. So uh, yeah, here we are. Um, just got dropped off by the bus. A little less of a, a little less, you know. Uh, climactic as the train ride and the you know rocket thing uh, intro in Borderlands to win pre sequel so yeah um, that's about it there's quite a lot of uh, little containers around here uh, uh, here we go and what will happen when you get a heap of containers is you'll actually get a, a bit of an achievement thing. There's like an in-game achievement system and obviously the Steam achievements. But in-game achievements uh, reset every character. But uh, not like in, you know, um, Borderlands 2, which is actually, it was really nice. I really liked that uh, system they had there. I think there is some um, containers around here, I think, so I'll go get them. Probably just skip to when I get all these. There's one over here. Um, there's there's a few things in there, uh, in that place, and also in there. So yeah, that's that's where you should look. Um, but, oh hey, we actually got a weapon there. Nice. Not bad at all. Crikey. Well, what's it? I mean, look at that, we got a weapon straight away. Don't even have to, uh, you know, get the stock standard weapon that you get in that crummy uh, chest at, uh, you know, for later on. Anyway, oh, another gun. Look at that, we're going to be selling quite a lot of that. Now, I'll just quickly show you the actual um, achievements thing. Here we go. So... If I can find it. Here we go. So if we get some of these, we'll get a heap of... Probably... Uh, hmm, definitely be able to get 50 or something. And Well, yeah. Um, yeah, you get, get a few of these and you'll get a heap of XP from it really quickly. So that's, uh, that's the idea of this sort of thing. And well, yeah, there's a lot of containers around here. So it's definitely enough to get... Um, 50 and get to that, uh, you know, 1000 XP. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And oh, there's a lot of it here. Alright. Now, uh, by the way, the FOV is insanely just bad. Um, oh, I think we can actually get up there elsewhere. Um, I think there's one in here, is there? Yep. And uh, that's it, I think. Uh, yeah, it's weird. As the, as the berserker, you can get up here, but mm, not so much as this, you know, the hunter. So that sucks. Okay, here we are. That's how you get up. Um, and what do we got? Got a bit of a shotgun. Not bad. Starting off. All right. Nice. I think I'll pray. A uh, terrible scattergun. What's that like? Oh, it is terrible. So I think I'll just stick with the old sniper. Because, well, it's um, a sniper. Snipers are pretty good, nice and accurate. Ouch. Oh, that's right. Fall damage is a thing in this game. That's weird. Any other Borderlands game there isn't, but... Whatever. All right, and there's actually some items in here we can get. Or, you know, containers. There we go, a bit of money. You get a lot of money in this game just from picking them up, picking it up. In Borderlands 2, you only get like one or two bucks at the start from money pickups. 
So yeah. Okay, there is also... Oh, here it is. This little secret. Um, yeah, that, that. But uh, th there is actually a way of... of getting over there, but um, it requires a lot of grenade jumping, which is kind of hard to do. I mean, I mean, it's not hard, it's just really annoying to do. But it's, yeah, it's possible. Yeah, you can easily do it, but I'd probably suggest doing it I later on when you're not, you know... I mean, you could do it soon. early on, but... Yeah, crikey. Yeah, you're probably not going to survive a grenade blast at this level. So, yeah. Well, shoot. Just farm a lot more time. containers. Um, is there any the more up here? I'll let you in. Come no, on, there's just this one. It. Oh, I'm gonna play the heck out of this. Oh, well, uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Now, what have we got around here? Oh, there's one here. So there it is. All right. So that's that's that for. Oh. There's there's still a heap of them around here. And there's three here, so that's really nice. Oh, look at that! What did I tell you? Level, level... Th oh, wow, I'm level three. Crikey. Would you look at that? Alright, and... There's some over here. Um, there he is. Alright. Uh, I think there's more. Is there? I don't know. don't think so around here, but... You can uh, go ahead and open some of these mailboxes as well, and of course jump up here. Um, let me, let me, let me out. There we go. All right, and then onto here. Up here, we got some more. Some more little. Uh, not much else other than that. Okay, and jump back down, and I think that's just about it. Um. The next few containers are inside this place, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Weird little ghosting thing there with the shadows, I don't know what's going on with that. It's always been a weird thing in this game. Um, okay. So yeah, we've got, we got, we got a few here, we've got four. One, two, three, four. Nice. Okay, and... Skag through the gate. Um, alright. Continuing on. Okay, I may as well get the scatter. Uh, hang on. Scatter gun. We'll just get that. It's, it's accurate. I like accurate guns. Okay. Moving on. And since Claptrap is annoyingly slightly slower than me, I have to do the old wiggle waggle. And oh, we got shot. No, never mind. This 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 piece of crap got shot. Okay. These uh these little encounters with bandits are now a lot kind of, kind of a lot more easier. Because, well, I'm slightly higher level than the rest, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, easy. Higher damage, less damage taken, and such. And we'll just speed run this little um, mission. And the uh, repair kit's right over here. Um, yeah. These these uh, little missions are pretty much well they're scattered around Borderlands. Um, it's really good to do them because you get uh, more backpack, more backpack inventory space. So that's nice. Um, that's about it. All right, and we can actually sniper some of these dudes from here just to speed run a bit more if we can actually shoot these pieces of crap. Right. Look at that. Now 
that is how you speed run. All right. Now while we're sort of lower level, we should also run around here and um, defeat some more skags, I guess. Skags, such a weird name. Oh mate, the uh, bullet velocity is really weird as well in this game. Okay. Oh wow, that's a lot. Oh, no, getting attacked. Um, a lot of money that just spewed out of that skag before. Don't know why that happened. All right, there's another container. Um, grab some of that, and we'll go up here and continue to defeat some more enemies because since we're such a lower level uh, you know we can get a lot more XP out of these bad boys um, not that I think it really matters because you know you'll I mean level up eventually at the same pace as everyone else but for now you'll be overpowered which is nice you'll be able to actually defeat uh, nine toes easier so yeah that's about it and we may as well go down here and have a look. Kill these things so we can speed run the uh speed run uh speed run the next mission because you know what while we're here, may as well where's that Wait. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Get a bit of health because we'll be needing that. And there's some more containers in here. Look at that. Oh, mate, the FOV is really awful in these tight spaces. Oh, gosh, there is a way to, um... It's really weird, this game has a lot of features that I just missed out on because... I don't know why, but it's just weird, because all you have to do to enable some of them is just go into the settings, like, uh, you know, text document settings, and Mormon just make them be a thing, you know, make him that, make it so that you can what actually you press a button and it does the actual built-in woman thing. I guess that's just the, um, standard Unreal Engine woman stuff, but, uh, it's still, it's still weird that they don't have that as a woman thing that you can, that you can just put in, in the settings, you know, key bindings and stuff. Pretty strange. Like, you can increase FOV and stuff, and uh, do third person and everything. It's, it's, it's pretty pretty strange why they don't implement that stuff. Anyway. They did that. See, it's a lot easier because uh, it's a lot easier to do that one because we just, you know, destroyed all these gangs and we can. Well, we've got way more money than we can woman handle because, well, I mean, we got a heck ton of money from all those containers, so we can get the better shield. There we go. Get that before it runs out. Okay, cool. And we can sell all this stuff because. Uh, I don't really need it. And there we go. Okay. That's it. We got a heck ton of money from those um, containers. That's about it. Oh. That dialogue just came at the wrong time. Alright. Uh, blinding nine toes. Let's go and do that. We level up to level four. Nice. Oh, that was a pretty nice shot. Same. Nice. Oh, a heap of money again. That's pretty nice. Yeah, you get a whole lot of money. Look at that, 45 bucks. Far out. Right, this is going to be a lot easier with um, us being level 4 and all. I mean, look. Um, look at that. Probably won't take as much damage as well. Look at that. Mate, where are cruising? That's what I like about the starting bit of this game. It's sort of custom 
It's sort of a custom for uh, less experienced players, but far out. That does not stop uh, you know experienced players from playing it. All right. This would be probably my 700th playthrough of this game. By the way, uh, crikey. Oh, right. uh, I like how when they're on the verge of death, they uh, they don't they they're just unaffected by you know um, anything. They just run around like they aren't hurt at all until, of course, they die. All right, now there's some more uh, containers around here as well. Obviously, this chest, which will get some. Ooh. That is slightly better than the last one, but still kind of crummy. Um, we can, <laughs> now that we have access to a chest, we can now farm it, as well as all these other ch um, things. So it's, it's going to love Borderlands for that. Alright. May as well go ahead and agitate these dudes. And... Their experience. I thought there were higher level enemies over here. That's weird. Hmm. How about, how about over there? And that? Weird. Anyway, while we're here, we can. Again, do the old kill these enemies so we don't have to deal with them later on. Plus, we'll get a little bit more XP from them because we are slightly lower level than what we might be when we actually do this mission. Um, however, I'm kind of hoping that the you know they'll respawn and um, you know cause I'm pretty sure there were like higher level enemies there when you come back, but I don't know. We'll see. Probably not. Let's go turn in this quest. Okay. Nice. Got that. Meet TK Baha. Pretty s weird name. Um, there was Legacy that lives on in pretty much every Borderlands game. Yeah. <laughs> pretty crazy. Even though he's... Well, don't want to give any... Don't want to give away any uh, spoilers, but... Yeah. Oh, we got some bandits over here. They, uh, they'll pretty much come out any time. It's kind of annoying. It, well, it gets annoying. For now, it's a heap of XP for you. This dude should be worth a lot of XP. Look at that. Level 3 and, all, and everything. And, well, since we're level 4... They um yeah they do much damage to us as well. Oh yeah, there's some chests down here, but they're pretty far apart, so I don't really get them. But uh, whatever, you can if you want. There's one all the way like around there. Something yeah. Um so yeah, you can get that if you want. I can't really be bothered to, but you know, go ahead. Alright, going to... Oh wow, that's like the first time I've pretty much got nothing in that. Um, I, oh dude, we are so close to being able to get up there. Ah, uh, dang it. Okay then, moving on. And this is a little, uh... That, that it's an intro. Even though I'm behind him. Far out. Seen the look oh on right. your face. <laughs> what a meme. <laughs> By the way, he's blind and he has uh, lost a limb. Alright, how is he alive? Alright, TK's food, we gotta get that. Uh, yeah. Anything in here? I haven't actually looked in here. Oh, there's a whole heap of nice things here. Oh, look at that. Critical. Just at the right moment. Okay, moving on, and we've killed the enemies here. I don't know if they'll respawn. Hmm. Anyway, if they don't, nice. We're gonna 
get to speed run it, you know, just run in. Bam, got that. And bam, got that. And oh, we've got to get some of the containers over here as well, so that's good. Nice little bonus. Bam. Bam bam. <laughs> nice. Well, let's go. Not not uh, not long until we get to beat up uh, nine toes, and that's when we uh, that's where the experience lies. Oh man, there's a heap of nice um, high-level enemies there in Skag Gully. I oh, mean, the, the names of these locations and borderlands, pretty. Uh, it's pretty weird to say. It's just, it's just look. It just makes sense when you read it, but saying it out loud it sounds so silly. Okay, grenades end. This is where you jump over here. There's actually some baddies here, so don't forget that. And I think the bandits over here might up. Oh, yeah, they respawned. Of course. Won't really bother getting. Trying to get a uh, critical on this dude. His head's too small at like this distance. And the inaccuracy of this gun is. Yeah, it's it's inaccurate, so. I might, I might just run over and shoot him up close because, you know, um, trying to get criticals in this game is kind of, it's kind of, kind of hard, kind of a lot harder than I, it is in Borderlands 2. That I have noticed. Nice. Got a gun as well, that's nice. Okay, I think there was like a bit of a debacle in the development of this game with, um, enemies having overpowered guns like it was, it was a bit of a weird situation and uh, I think I read about that in some game ranks woman video or something or oh, I don't know okay we can actually buy some grenades now so that's nice and we oh hey we can get that as well sticky is pretty good it's gonna do us some good um it's going to do us some good when we're up against Teak, uh, was it? It's going to do us some good when we're up against Nine Toes, and look at this. Ooh, hey there. That is a nice looking shotgun there. Um, a lot of overpowered... A lot of over... Wow, that's pretty good. Far out. Um, fire rate 10.8. That's pretty good. Uh, I will get that, I guess. And I will, uh, <laughs> would like to get that, but I don't exactly... Oh, it shoots rockets. That Yeah, I don't really particularly like those guns. So we'll get that. Alright. Well, there are a lot of... Yeah, level requirement. Pretty high, but whatever. They're really nice guns, so... You know. Um, And, of course, there's a lot more little containers in here we can get. Okay, moving on. We uh, go and turn in this really easy quest. <laughs> then I'm pretty sure we're able to go and defeat um, Nine Toes. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, that, that um, sniper is really outdated now. Yeah, that's a pretty good gun. Up close, rather. Look at that. Pretty good. I think, though, I'd rather some more accuracy, but... Up close, it works pretty nice. There we go. Hmm, mate, we're almost level 5 and we can get our action skill. How about that? Okay, here we go. Turning that and in the next episode... We'll go and defeat Nine Toes. Go into Scan Gully and stuff. Um, we're, we're really close to level 5, so we'll be able to destroy Nine Toes with our action skills. So, uh, see you in the next episode.